Okay, I am super, super excited. We have the big, huge auction win. And actually, I am combining a few different auction wins today. So um, I have the huge one that I got from this auction house that is up in kind of like northern Michigan. It's kind of mid-Michigan, I guess. And then I actually am adding a couple other auction wins that have shown up um, recently. So uh, this is actually one that I won, uh, an auction that came in from California. It's just some, um, just some earrings uh, that I won. It was just a small auction lot. And this actually is interesting. It is earrings and it says Banyo and Oro de 24 carats. So I don't know what that means at all. Other than I know 24 karat means gold. Does that mean it's plated? Does that mean it's not really sure? So if anybody knows what this means, I guess I'm going to have to look into it. These are super cute earrings. These are little like figures here. I really like these. Super fun. Super excited too. I got a new like camera stand and it's so much nicer than what I was using before. So this is going to be so much nicer. <laughs> um. Okay, so then this is uh, Selective Elements across the sea I don't know looks like it's just a generic pair of earrings but they're pretty I like the components on this really nice um so cute little earrings uh, I'd have to test to see if those are silver but I just I, I feel that they're probably just silver plate or maybe um just a uh, silver base metal, silver colored base metal. But they are a really pretty earring. I like that pink, pink's pretty. Those are a pretty little black and silver uh, earring, kind of very 80s. I like the fringe, it's kind of fun. And here, these are some clips. Let's see if we got another one here. Yep, here it is. Those are kind of fun, little clip earrings. Really like those a lot. Any marks on that? Let's see. Um, do you not see a maker's mark or any kind of like emblem, cartouche, or anything like that? But I like those. They're nice and bold and fun. And then we got a little pair of Liz Claiborne earrings. And those are nice. Still on the card. I, I love these. This is like right out of the 80s. I should post a picture on my um, Facebook or something. I, I literally have a, I have a picture of me in, I think, either freshman in high school or maybe middle school or something. And I am wearing a shirt that is like identical to this pattern in this earring. And of course it's like with tie dyed leggings and I'm probably got some hot pink Converse on or something. My hair is permed, but those are pretty darn awesome. And I would totally rock those. I probably did rock them back in the day. Uh, these are, they, I think they're damaged. I mean, I could probably fix them, but do I want to? I don't know. That is how they're supposed to look, but it's still kind of funky even then. Cause look at that, that's kind of a weird little, I don't know. I can fix them if somebody's interested in these, but I don't know if it's worth it. But if somebody's interested, let me know. I can definitely fix those. This is a, uh, I think these are broken, which is too bad. It's a cute little, cute little earring, but the, the top is broken on that one. Uh, ooh. These are a bit heavy for pierced earrings. 
These are posts, but check those out. Those are fun and funky. But posts, I mean, I would definitely swap the backs out to have the discs, you know, to hold those tighter, but wow. Definitely uh, be dragging those holes down in your ears. But these are glass. Yeah, those are glass. Those are glass. Wow. Okay. Um, hmm, these are interesting. Those are pretty. I don't know. Are those amber? Nope, not amber. But pretty, very pretty findings on that. Hmm. Kind of like those. Those are very, very pretty. And I got some just some black and black and gold bead earrings. And then these are fun. that one goes kind of like those I'm gonna be completely 100% honest I really like these a lot I love big earrings though those are really cool I wish they were clips but because I think clips just are more comfortable with to wear with big earrings but, you know, uh, to sw I would swap out those backs, put the little disc back so they're a little bit more comfortable. Um, and those will be okay. So, not too bad. But those are really cool. I like it. I like that brush gold. Those are nice. I like that. Okay. So, that is one lot. And that lot came from California. I think I paid like I don't know, maybe five dollars for the whole lot. I think I could do it. So this is a lot that I picked up this morning. I'm just gonna dump it on my table here. And it's a lot I picked up this morning. Um it's it was almost like a junk jewelry lot that I got for like I think I got for like four dollars. Um because nobody else bid on it. And then I got two other lots from this auction. It was really close to where I lived. So I knew I was gonna pick it up and it was not gonna be a big deal. Um, and I just figured why not bid on it. So let's go through it. There's two things in here that actually, that were separate jewelry lots that I bid on. And we'll, be, we'll look at those last, but let's just go through this really quick um, before we get to the really good stuff. So you gotta bear with me. You gotta go through the whole video, okay? Don't, don't, I'm not going to lose you guys. Um, this is plastic, not in great condition. So we're just going to skip through some of the stuff that's not in the best condition. I'm going to just lift this up. I think I can lift this up slightly. Maybe not. Okay, well, I have to play with this. Okay. Um, some plastic beads and, uh, are these plastic? These are actually, those are glass. These are glass beads. Yeah, these are actually really old glass beads. Really old, really long strand of glass beads, faceted, all knotted. And, wow, these are really old, really old. This is actually a pretty cool find here, everybody. That's actually a really nice find. Um, I would say, I bet you these are at least 100 or more years old, right here. And this strand is, really really long 
So this strand of beads is, oh, let's say 36 inches? No, longer than that, I bet. This strand of beads of yellow and green is, yeah, it's uh, 70 inches. It's actually 35 inches the drop is. So it's 70 inches long. I wonder how much this is actually worth. These are really old beads. And the faceting is pretty primitive on it. I'm kind of fascinated by these. Hmm. I have to do research on this. That's actually a really cool find in this lot that I paid $3 for or $5 for or whatever it was. Um, plastic, but yet actually quite pretty. Some of these bees are actually quite pretty. Um, this is a really old shoe clip. Uh, no marks on it, but it's cool and it's old. This is all plastic. Those are those like fiber covered, fi fiber covered beads. Can't talk today. Another plastic necklace. This one is broken, so definitely heading for the craft lot. Actually, I'm going to set all those down in there for now. Uh, this is a, I don't know if this is a hair tie or I think that might be a scrunchie. But honestly, like I have really long hair and I don't think I would use it as a scrunchie. So yeah, no. Um, this is a puka shell necklace and actually quite a nice one. Um, all graduated. That's actually kind of a nice one. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know if anybody would be interested in that. It's actually kind of a nice one. I have a ton of puka shell necklaces. If anybody is interested in puka shell necklaces, it is the time of year for them. Um, let me know. I can hook you up. Like seriously. Um, this is quite nice. Um, this is, does this say listener? What do we have here? I can, that does. This is a listener. Wow, very pretty listener piece. Wow, that is really pretty. So we have a really nice listener necklace. Hey, you know, our $5 little lot of jewelry is getting better by the moment. That's actually really pretty. I like this. Um, it looks like the silver coating wore off here. Um, and here. Other than that, very nice condition. I, I, I like this, I'm not gonna lie, I like this a lot. I really like these styles of necklaces and they just look incredibly elegant when you wear them. And no matter what, they just are so beautiful and so elegant. And if you are like me and you have a thicker neck, just get an extender, honestly. Just get an extender because they are so beautiful on, so beautiful. So that is another incredible score out of here. So I'm super happy with that. Uh, that's pretty. And I don't see any markings on that. That's really pretty though. A very pretty pearl. No chips in there at all. Grab the light on there, which I can probably, I'm not seeing chips. Am I seeing chips? I don't see chips. We're looking good, no chips. And we house. Oh, uh, so no names on this, but this is really pretty, very nice collar. This might be a little bit difficult to try to um, extend, but if you have a smaller neck, that would be very, very elegant and very, very pretty. Okay, what do we have next? Oh, here's another one. That's really pretty. That is resin, plastic, 
but just look at that. That is just a really cool design. I like that. And we're looking at no marks on this either. But look at that. That's really cool. It really is. There we go. I'm trying to make this so. Not quite as close up. Really pretty yeah, little make it closer. plastic yellow necklace. Some different um, sizes of the plastic beads, but that's actually quite pretty. And the color is actually really cute. So that's actually, I'm gonna keep that up here. And this is really nice. I like that too. The white and the gold. And look at this class. This clasp is nice. Look at that. I think it's signed. Let's see. Let's all look together. Uh, Napier. Napier. Yeah, Napier. Nice. Wow. That's nice. That's a winner. This is pretty cute, too. I'm not gonna sneeze at this one. This is nice. I like this. Pretty red color. Yeah, that's really cute. Good that's Fourth of July kind of thing going on here. So this is a cool little plastic yellow Raya Sunshine necklace. It's super cute. Um, and that is a little choker, and that's really pretty and in great condition. But there is this really pretty silver. I oh. think it's a silver multi-strand. Oh, maybe I did it. Oh, I did it. Okay, so it's a really long necklace. Triple strand. So we've got one, two, three strands. But check out this strand. Look at that link. That's kind of cool. And this is the clasp. So just a simple fold over class but no marks to it sadly and this is about 25 inches in um drop so 50 inches in length so it's a very long necklace definitely good for um layering or you could double it i guess but just a really cool three uh, strand chain. Not marked though. Really pretty. That's another really, I think that's a really good score for this particular little lot here. Yeah. This looks like a stained glass cross pendant. Looks like it's had better days. Um, this is a strand of pearls that is, the clasp is broken. They are hand knotted. Um, I am not the best at checking pearls. I refuse to put them in my mouth. I'm sorry, but I do. I will not put them in my Look mouth. Look at them under a loop though. And I do check the edges. What I have learned is, I just can't really tell in the loop on here, but if you look at the edge where the pearl is drilled, and if the Angel hair, probably. Um, if you can see that it's starting to peel up in those edges, that means that it's not real pearl. And if the if that end edge is coming up, then that's not real. So that, my friends would make me feel that these are not real pearls because you can see how the edges 
are drilled out and the like the coating the finish on the beads are like kind of peeling up at those edges and that is a tip that I learned from Dr. Lori so yeah but they're really nice for not being real they're really nice um so yeah that's that's too bad because they're really nice and the clasp is really nice but this which love this i love crystal i love any type of anything like this but look at that look at that oh beauty in this is just amazing and then look at this look at this this is an incredible um clasp on this let's see how though so the clasp is one of these that would hate well actually i hate these types of clasps but you would put it through here and loop it and then pinch and then push and that's how it goes through and then good luck getting it open quickly but check that out those are beautifully faceted beautiful color no marks on this wow that's gorgeous and then it has the cluster earrings that match and these are are these marked they have sorry guys this is italy can't read it. Can anybody read that? I can't read it. I cannot read this at all. Hmm. You're beautiful though. Absolutely stunning. Beautiful color. I don't know. Can't read it though. I'm sorry. So, but so this, um, so this set will be available. So if anybody's interested, please email me, let me know. Um, and then we can come up with a price. I'm not positive yet, um, on it, but we will come up with price. That's fair. Cause there would be no fees if I could sell it to one of you guys here. Um, and then, okay, then this one, this one really is confusing to me. I bid on this because I recognize the name. I didn't really know much about it. Um, I didn't get it for a real high cost, so I was okay with it. But then I, I now that I got it, I'm doing research and I'm very confused by it because this is marked Cellini. So I think we all are familiar with Selene, but I had not seen anything like this before. Um, that was a Selene piece, but you know, it was Mark Selene, but it didn't cost me that much. So I was like, well, let me give it a shot. I, this does not come up as a Selene and I've seen other pieces like this and all of them do say Selene also, but nobody's selling this for very high and I can't reference this as a Selene piece. So I don't know if it's a different Cellini. I don't, I don't know. So does anybody have any idea on this? I can't figure this out. It's cool. Very mod 1960s, but I don't know. So, but it's a cool brooch. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Okay, so now moment we've all been waiting for. This is the big, 
big auction win that I had been talking about. Um, I won this. I spent a lot of money on this. Big win. $300 shipped. Um, this, uh, this was a lot of stuff. A lot of, a lot of really good stuff too, like high dollar stuff that I'm hoping to sell on eBay and stuff. Um, and to you guys, if anybody's interested, but I got some amber. This per first package is amber. Um, and I love amber. Amber's one of my favorite things. And this is a um, auction house that's in kind of like almost to northern Michigan. It's like mid-Michigan. Last place that I would have ever thought to have found really cool vintage jewelry. So first amber piece. This is a ring. And look at that glow. Oh my God. Look at that glow. That is definitely, let's take it off. That's definitely amber. You can see the, you can see that glow. Yep. And turn the light back on. And this is a size, where's my ring of mandrel? Somewhere here. There it is. This is about a size eight and a half ring. Oh, oh, amazing. Amazing, 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 amazing. So that is just gorgeous. And that is really cool. Let's take a look to and see if what we can see in this piece of amber. Lots of little inclusions. No big bugs though, but lots of little, little inclusions. It looks like there might be a little one though in there, right at the bottom. Right there. I don't, see that right there? I think that's a bug. Yep, right there. Bugs. So that's pretty cool. I, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So this amber ring, eight and a half, this definitely will be um, available to anybody if you are an amber lover. Um, and I would say for, cause I'm more apt to sell it to you guys here on YouTube. I would say, um, 40 for anybody here that would be interested in the Amber ring. And it's an eight and a half. Um, and then we have this Amber bracelet. It is on a stretchy cord and we've got little Amber nuggets here. And then I think these might be just seed beads and crystals, but then we have a big amber nugget here. And let's double check. Oh, oh man, look at that. And then we do have some luminescence with the rest of the amber too. But look at that main piece. Oh my God. God, I freaking love amber. It's like probably my favorite. It always has been though. Um, and let's see. What do we see in this piece? Anything fun? Lots of little, I don't know what they are, but lots of little pieces of something. Not a big bug though. any big bugs but lots of other stuff so this bracelet we'll say for this bracelet we'll say um, 25 for this bracelet which is a pretty good deal with this big old chunk of amber so um, 
40, I think I said 40, 40 for this, 25 for the bracelet. So yeah, that's gorgeous. That is one beautiful chunk of amber. So 25 bracelet, 40 for the ring for the amber. Because I think you guys are going to be the ones that are going to want it before anybody else. These are all really, I got a lot of really, really old pieces in here. So a lot of these are going to be older um, in this whole big win. Just so everybody knows. Um, this piece, unsigned. Um, looks like there had been enameling. There's, um, let's see, where's my loop? There it is. Get some brighter light on here too. So, looks like there's a little bit of like lift on there, but that's okay. This is very old. Um, and you can see also from the, the clasp here, the age. It's really pretty. It's too bad about the stone though. But that's okay. Moving to the next one. Oh, this is one of those um scrimshaw. Yep, that's Barlow. Yeah, Barlow. It's a Barlow Scrimshaw Hummingbird Keychain. That is beautiful. Uh, these are pretty collectible. Um, if anybody is interested in this particular piece, um, uh, I could do this one for 15. And on some of these pieces, I just because I know that I'm more apt to sell it here on the video rather than on whatnot or anything like that, I might just throw out prices. So if I am quoting a price, just, uh, you know, just remind me what it is if you uh, decide to take me up on it. Um, this is a beautiful brooch here. This has marcasites and absolutely beautiful flowers. This is stunning, very old. Very, very, very old. If anybody's interested in any of these, just let me know. Um, oh, I have this in another piece. This exact, this exact, that's the exact painting I have in another whole brooch. And this is adorable. Look at that. Oh, I love this. This is a little loose. Um, but it doesn't, it's not going to come off loose, but that is looser. That's so cute. Oh. Like just because this one's loose, maybe I would do this for, um, whoops. I do that for $10 just because it's loose, but that's super old. But the back is all in order and everything. It's all fine. Yeah, it locks and everything in the back. But it's a little loose, so if anybody's interested in that for 10, I'll do that one for 10. Oh my gosh, this is a hair barrette. Um, it's the kind that you clasp together and then open. That's super cute. Um, I do that for five. Here's another one of those just like that. This is it's like a watch. It is a watch. It's a frog watch. Oh my God, that's adorable. needs a new band or something but that's so cute and look at that little bow oh my goodness that is very very old 
that if that's so old it has a C clasp. Wow, that's beautiful. And then we have another old barrette. And this brooch has some beautiful age to it. Uh, me and my bugs. This is a, this is an Avon. I forget I can do that. This is an Avon little fly or beetle. I'm not sure what that is. It's an Avon and that's in beautiful condition. That is gorgeous. And then this was the piece that I fell in love with in the photograph. It's a scarecrow. And I just thought this was absolutely adorable and I just could not wait to get this one. And this one's marked and I, I did not know that it was marked even when I got it. Let's see if we can read it. I don't think we can read it on here. So let me look at it. Under the loop. Hmm. I am unfamiliar with this mark, so hold on one second. Okay, so interestingly, this is Dana Buckman. So this is a Dana Buckman scarecrow. And um, I have never seen uh, that, I never knew that Dana Buckman ever did anything like a scarecrow or any type of jewelry like this before. But it is a Dana Buckman scarecrow brooch but I think he's a, just amazingly adorable um and so yeah and then I think he's too cool nope, and I guess that's a part of that okay next big jewelry score was this one this is lot 1119 and lots of good stuff in here um there is a watch in here I don't normally like watches but Oh, well, this one's actually running and it is really pretty and it says waterproof to uh, a thousand or a hundred. I don't want to, I don't know. It's an incline, but that's really actually, that's quite pretty. Um, so we got an incline watch in here and, ooh, and we got a fancy dancy little ring. So that's kind of nice. And then next we have a brooch. And there are some very old pieces. If this is a lot that I'm thinking, there is some very, very old pieces in this lot. So this is a really pretty enamel. Look at how nice that enamel is. Um, and this bro brooch is a Coro, a very old coral brooch. You can see the coral back here. That's really beautiful. And it does though look like two stones may have been replaced. But you know, that's actually it's not too bad. And the only reason I say that is because to me, I'm I'm seeing two stones that look larger than the others, which I repair jewelry quite a bit. And to me, like get the sizes right. But I mean, unless those are supposed to be larger, I don't know. I mean, they go in the prongs, but. Okay, that's just me. I'm picky. Um, Scassi. This is a Scassi ring. This is quite a bold ring. Wow, I'm kind of digging that. Okay, let me take off my other ring. 
I got this ring the other day from my guy in Detroit. I don't know if I said this. An angel stole it. I didn't take it from her. She had she hid it. She had it outside. She hid it. She's stealing my stuff. Now she better not steal this one because this one I love. Okay, I'm gonna look up Scassi. Okay, right Scassi cocktail rings. They are vintage. The price comparisons are all over the place. So I think that's pretty. But they are can amazing. I love that ring. I love that ring. I might be keep, I might keep it for a little bit, but if anybody's interested in it, um, I will sell it. Of course, I will sell it. But that's awesome. Love that ring. Too cool. Um, we have a brooch. This one is unmarked. It is a C class. Interesting. But this is unmarked, but beautiful. Very nice condition. Uh, the pearls are in there very nicely. It does remind me of Trafari, but it is not marked. Hmm. Okay. Next. Um, ooh. That is lovely. And... Hmm. That is not marked either, sadly. Okay, little clown. And we have a little very rhinestone-y clip here. I don't know if we have a match for that or not. Uh, okay, not sure about this particular piece. Uh, unmarked. It has some light colored stones. A couple are missing. We have some hematite in there as well. Um, it's pretty. It's different. Okay, this is quite lovely. Quite old. And this is marked, so hold on. Let's see what we got here. Wow, I can't really read it. Mund, M-U-N-D, or Wund? Hmm. I'm not. I can get it to. If anybody can recognize that, let me know. This looks very old. Very, very old. Like, really old. And. I don't know. I don't know. That's that's old. And what do we got going on here? We have a little fly with some A B stones here. That one's pretty. I like him. Okay, so I cannot find, this says E.P. Paris, I'm, I'm positive this says E.P. Paris back here, but I cannot find this logo anywhere. I'm, po I'm almost positive that says E.P. Paris, or maybe it's E.L.? Maybe it's E L C L. What do you guys think? Maybe it is a C L. Is that C L like Christian Lacroix? Hmm. 
Well, I'm going to do more research. Keep on going now. All right, let's see. And then we've got this. I swear to God, I've had these flowers before. This exact one. These are beautiful. Black rhinestone earrings with the navettes. Love those. No marks. And then this. And thank God, no stones missing, no issues with it. Thank God, thank God, thank God. So I was starting to get worried. That's the back of it. And this is a Juliana book piece. Um, this is an Ann Pittman's book. I actually have Ann's book. I actually have become friends with her. I love Ann. And I don't know if you watch my videos, but I love you. You're sweet. And I know we talk on Facebook all the time. Um, but this is an Ann Pittman's book. And uh, this piece is absolutely stunning. And um, this is a Juliana book piece. And um, I was so excited to find this in this auction. And um, yeah, I... I won it. I was not sure if I would, but I actually literally sat with the computer going and um, waited until this lot came up so I would not lose it, and I won it, and I'm super, super, super excited. This will go up on eBay. Um, the last time I saw this sold, it sold right around $300. Um, so I think it might have been like just over three. So, and that was a couple months ago. Um, and it was this exact one, or maybe, I think it was this exact one. It might have been maybe four or five months ago. Um, and that's what I did my research. And it's, yeah, it was just right, right around 300 or just over 300. So, uh, yeah, so I am uh, going to be putting this one up on eBay, um, hoping to get about that same price. So, or if I'm lucky, maybe a little bit more. Who knows? Um, so, yeah. I, I, I got it. And the stones are beautiful. These are black navets, ruby, ruby, red uh, rounds around in between the navets. And then the AB, red ABs, and then the turquoise um, cabochons, and then the red ABs around that. So absolutely stunning, stunning brooch and uh, verified Juliana piece. So, yep, I got that, I got it. Um, and then I just think this box is pretty darn sweet too. So um, I might put that box up for sale too. So yeah, um, or if anybody's interested in it, let me know because it's a pretty sweet box. It'd be kind of a fun little jewelry box. Uh, so yeah, so that was my super awesome jewelry score. Um, so lots of pieces for sale. Please let me know if anybody is interested in anything. Um, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not already because your subscriptions mean a lot to me. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm so excited. Um, so yes, that will be for sale. All, all of these pieces will be for sale. Um, and if uh, you know, you're know you not interested, or not interested, if you are um, interested in purchasing it you know, uh, via the... Um, the YouTube video, I will give you a much better deal. Otherwise, it will go on whatnot um, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, next week. A lot of these pieces will. Um, and then I will have the YouTube live sale next Thursday. And I might do some pop-ups. Who knows? And, uh, yeah, I'll probably list some more items, too, on eBay. But yeah, hopefully some of you guys will be interested. And if um, so definitely be checking that out. And I hope to see some of you guys on my next live. And thank you guys for anybody that are um, that watched my ephemera video and for um, giving me feedback on maybe doing another like live, basically just like a reseller feedback um, support kind of thing that was really great. Um, we had that great discussion um, after my my live video last night. So that was really fun. 
Um, so thank you everybody. I, uh, I really appreciate you guys being here and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and we'll see you later. Oh, and don't forget, um, on Sunday, uh, there were, there's a, a few of us jewelry resellers that are, or jewelry YouTubers that will be doing a 4th of July unboxing. We all send jewelry to each other and we're going to be doing a live unboxing. So, uh, definitely check it out. I think mine is at five o'clock on Sunday. So check it out on Sunday, July 2nd. All right. Thank you. Bye guys.